Welcome back. Friday marks the 150th anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. However, few people know that 15,000 Chinese workers made significant contributions to its construction. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen has been looking into those contributions, joins us now in the studio to preview her special report that airs tonight at 10 o'clock. Rosie. Don Emily, those 15,000 Chinese men came to the U.S. in the 1960s with the dream of a better life for their family back home. They took on the hardest and most dangerous jobs only to be left out of the history books. Out of all the different groups that made up the railroad workers, the Chinese were paid the least. Historians tell me railroad officials didn't even keep track of them by their names. They worked so fast and so efficiently that the main reason uh, the Central Pacific set the record for the most amount of railroad track laid in one day. Their wage also didn't include food or room and board, so they slept in tents outside while others slept in heated boxcars. That was one of the worst winters ever recorded, and there were avalanches. and. In the spring, when they would find the bodies, they would often find them still holding their tools because it was the most uh, valuable possession they had. Tonight at 10, we'll hear more from the descendants of Chinese railroad workers about their ancestors' legacy and allow them to retell history from their family's point of view. Back to you.